In the spring, at the end of the day, you should smell like dirt. Margaret Atwood. This season is one of moving from the dark cave of winter's embrace, now barefoot, into a wildflower field of possibility, the ideas and the planning stages of our heart's longings. This is when we get that feeling wash over us that we must spring clean. The leaves have dropped from the trees in autumn, decomposed over winter, and now as they are brushed away and cleared, the signs of new growth and life emerge. This archetypal initiation can happen anytime we are overflowing with new ideas and filled with energy and momentum. The deep rest has healed us, and now we are overwhelmed with the desire to sweep away the dust and darkness. The light lingers longer into the night. We eat our supper meals to the sounds of the outside world opening up. Our work in spring is that of clearing away. It is the rhythmic uncovering of the winter mulch to reveal the rich soil underneath. The pace is faster, electric, and the browns of the tree lines quickly turn all shades of green. What are we going to uncover within ourselves? Who have we become during winter's time of shadow and loss? As we emerge, where and what are we called to? Spring clearing removes expectation as it focuses on the moment and the movement of sowing seeds once the soil is clear. When spring comes, it is the first chapter of a story one of the many layered stories of our lives. It is written from the leaves, the dirt, the glow of the sunrise, and the sound of the spring peepers. It tells us to dig into our sacred roots, to plant down deep and strong, and it promises that in our own time, we will feel spring deep in our soul. We all will have our own stories to work with as we move into spring, a chance to discover self, to take the healing of winter and do something with it. It is a transition into the newest parts of who we are. I feel spring deep inside, in a way I haven't before. Rather than get overwhelmed from the constant shifts in temperature and mood, I'm creating touch points for rainy days, sunny days, windy days, cloudy days, perhaps even freezing days. I know what will support me through the inconsistencies, and that brings comfort inside a season that has never felt like a fit for me. Transitions take their own time. Hibernation may be over, but there is still room to nap. Seasons are not linear. Stories emerge, often slowly, as the storyteller finds the words. I will share my stories with you in this season of spring of how I make home, prepare my garden, work my land through regenerative practices, and grow and preserve our food. My inner landscape will be revealed in harmony with the outer landscape that we are shaping creating, witnessing. We are students learning to homestead in the second half of our life, in the part two. This is a dream I've held deep inside since I can remember dreaming. We will be here for six more years and then continue on to a farm of our own, our someday farmhouse. Thank you for being on this adventure with us. If you are new to the channel, I would love to have you subscribe to stay in touch. And my favorite thing is to read your comments and create connection and conversation. We're here together. I appreciate you.